Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of HVAC Education Hub channel. In this episode, we'll cover what is the problem if you have oversized heat pump. From experience, usually the problem is with oversized heat pump, not with undersized heat pump, because people is people and installers they are they have experience with gas boilers with with wood pellets or other traditional fuel systems when there is no such a problem if you put oversized unit. With heat pump, it could be the problem. Why? Because heart of heat pump system is compressor and compressor has some limits. These limits are modulation. So compressor can modulate in a very, very wide area, but this wide area, sometimes it's not enough for house and for system to operate in efficient way. We'll look at one example. What is a heat loss, how to calculate heat loss. And we explain that heat loss depends in some variables, but the, the main variable is delta T between outer and indoor temperature. So when outer temperature is lower, this delta T is higher and you need higher, you have higher heat loss. For example, let's take a new 200 square meter house with good insulation and windows as an example. At outer temperature of minus 10 degrees and indoor temperature of 20 degrees, so delta T is 30 degrees. Such a house requires nine kilowatt of heat. This is 45 watt per square meter. The same house at outer temperature of plus seven degrees and the same room temperature of 20 degrees. This is delta T of 13 degrees. Such a house requires only 3.9 kilowatt of heat. What is around 20 watt per square meter. So this is more than 50% difference between outer temperature of minus 10. What it means when you put heat pump in calculation or in design? It means that, as we already know, usually heat pump, when outer temperature is lower and you need higher capacity, capacity of heat pump is dropping. So. It means when you have higher outdoor temperature and higher heat pump capacity, this heat pump maybe cannot modulate low enough to cover your low heat loss. For example, we will see Panasonic 9 kilowatt teacup model. So teacup means total capacity and 9 kilowatt is in all range up to minus 15 degrees. This heat pump at minus seven can modulate up to three kilowatts. So from three to nine kilowatts, which is very big and wide range of modulation. But the same pump at plus seven can modulate from 4.5 to nine kilowatts. And our house at the same plus seven needs around four kilowatts. So we are on the edge with modulation. This pump can cover your heat loss at minus and plus because of wide range of modulation. But if you put in the same formula, volume flow or volume flow rate, and you don't have enough volume flow rate, as we already explained in previous lesson, then your house will need higher heat pump to cover your capacity and you will maybe achieve on off compressor works with this heat pump. So it is really important to understand correlation between modulation and capacity, what your house needs. This is also, I, I, I wrote once about that, that it's better to be on the edge with capacity and on lower temperature of maximum lower temperature, 
you have also heating elements to cover. Because if you put oversized heat pump, for example, if you put 12 kilowatt in this house, this 12 kilowatt can modulate maybe down to five or six kilowatt and plus seven. And your house needs only four. It means that compressor will go on off and you will not have efficient system because these four kilowatts will be achieved very fast and compressor will go down. So most important thing to remember, modulation and correlation between outdoor temperature and compressor frequency. Thank you for watching the episode. Hit subscribe button and see you later.